You never told me that you were thinking of leaving college. Well, I don't tell you a lot of things. We don't live under the same roof. Well, that's just not an excuse for not consulting with me and your father about such a big decision. So what exactly are you going to do if you don't go to school? I have a baby now, remember? Yes, a baby who's going to need a mother with a college education. McKay, how are you going to provide for her down the road if you can only get a minimum wage job? Excuse me, but how was I supposed to register for classes when I don't have a dime to my oh, name? Come on, Kay. You know your father and I would have paid for your tuition. I can't believe you didn't come to us. Maybe I would have if you hadn't kicked me out when I got okay, pregnant. you know that is not... Is it too late for Kay to still register for class? Yeah, I'm afraid so. How could you be so irresponsible? Who's going to provide for you and the baby? I'll do it. What? I'm responsible for Kay's situation, so I'll support Kay and our baby. What? Why are you so quiet, Whitney? Don't you believe in fate? Well, yeah. Hmm. Sure. I mean, sometimes. But I certainly don't think it's the reason that Ethan is out here in Los Angeles at the same time as Teresa. How much more proof do you need? Okay, come on, come on, listen, all right? I imagined, imagined Ethan being here, okay? And then the next thing I knew, he was here. He was in that bed, and we were kissing Whitney. Now, now, if that's not meant to be, I don't know what is. You know what? You two are gonna have to work this out on your own, because uh, I gotta go get dressed, okay? Hey, I hate to go, but I don't want to be late to the studio. Oh, baby. Look how handsome you look. Yeah, my big shot music producer. Uh, I just hope <laughs> my bosses think so. Oh, gosh, they will. Are you kidding? You're going to knock them dead, <laughs> You know what? You and me are going to finish this conversation a little bit later. Mm. But I'm going to walk my big, sexy man Crazy. to the door. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Well, I'm going to go take a shower. <laughs> oh, kid. What in the world did Whitney forget now, hmm? You don't have to knock. It, uh... Uh. This candle is for you, Martin. May it light your way home. Please come home to me, mi amor. And this candle's for you, Sheridan. I know you must have really had to leave to do so without saying goodbye. You shouldn't be alone right now when you're having our baby. I know you must be getting great medical care, but I should be with you to give you emotional support. And we should be together to see our baby's eyes for the first time. Please, God, let me know where Sheridan is. I need her. She needs me. are swollen. The baby's not moving. Something that's terribly wrong. Wake up, sleeping beauty. It's time for breakfast. You know, you're lucky that you're getting any food at all. You were a very bad girl yesterday. Something's wrong. My ankles are so swollen. So what? All women that are pregnant have swollen ankles? Don't they? Not like this. I don't feel right. And my baby is not moving. Something is terribly wrong. Have you had any more contractions? No, I haven't. Nice try. No cigar. 
I'm not falling for your tricks this time. You think that I'll just bring you back up here if you pretend to be sick? Well, no dice. How dare you try to play me for a fool? No, I swear. Something is wrong. I need help. Look, if you won't take me to a doctor, then please send someone down here so that I can get help. No. You're just gonna try to escape so you can forget about it. What is that around your neck? Show me what's around your neck or I'll come down there and I'll strangle you with it. It's just a ring. Please, please, take the ring. No. I told you I am releasing you from all promises. You're free. You bitch. You took the ring back from Louis Blarmont back. I'm never gonna let you escape. I should kill you right now. what I want to do. Yeah, I know it's really hard for you to believe that someone would actually care for me that much, isn't it? Okay, so nobody needs a college education. You know what? We don't have to decide this right now. Kay's recuperating from a C-section. We're all very worried about the baby and, and, and upset. We'll just talk about this later. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea, Grace. <sighs> I think uh, we should let Kay get some rest. I want to check on the baby. Me too. I'll come back and look in on you, Kay. Do you believe that bitch? My mother. And you still want to go home? Oh, I thought I did. I told you. Grace will do anything to keep those two together. She wants them to get married. Why does she hate me so much, Tabitha? <sighs> the question is, why would you want to go back to a home where you're not wanted? Stay with me, dear. Stay with me, and I will help you use your baby to get Miguel back. You have no job. You have no money. You have to show Miguel how much you need him. But I still want to go home. What, and so your mother can rub charity in your nose all day? Do me a favor, Tabitha. Yes, what? Just get rid of these flowers, Charity gave me. Mm, gladly. I'm going to finish cleaning up, and then I'm going back to the hospital to be with Miguel and his baby. All right, hey, I'm sure that the baby's going to be all right, okay? I keep praying for that little angel. So do I. I just don't know how we're going to pay all these hospital bills. Well, I thought Miguel had insurance. He does, but it's not enough. Since the baby was premature, she has special needs, and the insurance just doesn't cover it. Right. Um, all right, you know what? I'll ask Sam for some overtime, and uh, I'm sure that'll help. Thank you, Neil.
You have been the rock of this family since your father disappeared and oh. Antonio was away. This family would have never made it without you. Well, Ma, come on. We're family, all right? And you know I'd do anything for family, okay? I know, Mijo. And you have no idea how much that means to me. But you have other responsibilities now. Beth is pregnant with your child. And she's going to need your support. Not just financial, but emotional support as well. It's her first baby, Luis. And she's afraid, and she's going to need someone to turn to. You're right. I, uh, I know I haven't been very supportive of Beth, and it's just because I was so focused on Sheridan, but that's going to change, right? I, I want to be good to Beth, and... and Beth has always been so supportive of me and Sheridan, and the way she takes care of her mother. Huh? Well, she's just always thinking about other people. Louis's grandmother's ring. He gave it back to Sheridan. Mine, my back. Please help me. I'm afraid for my baby. Shut up. Shut up. I should just kill you now. You're more trouble than you're worth. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be any trouble. I'm just worried about my baby. I need help. Stop it. It won't work. Just drink your milk and take your vitamins. And just shut up. You'll be fine. What kind of monster are you? You have to help me! Uh, I don't have to do anything. You're so used to getting what you want, aren't you? Well, those, well, those days are over because you were stuck here and you were never getting out. Nobody's looking for you. Nobody has any idea where you are. So get used to it. You are going to be down here forever. Now, I'll give you a call when I get a free minute. Okay. 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 Hey, and look, I'm sorry. We didn't have enough time to get adjusted until I started working full time. Hey. Mom, this is a wonderful break for your career. It's all right. I don't mind. Really, I'm going to be just fine. You sure? I'm positive. Come on, Teresa's here. Fox is here. They're going to keep me plenty busy, don't worry. Now, don't forget, you said you're going to keep Whitney entertained today. <laughs> I'll keep Whitney company whenever. Chat's not a problem. I appreciate that, man. You made me feel a lot better. Well, you know, what are friends for? Oh, my God. Teresa, Teresa, I'm sorry. No, no, Ethan, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I, I, oh, I thought that you were Whitney. <laughs> no, 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 it's my fault. I, I should have told you it was me. I, I can come back if it's a bad time. No, no, it's okay, see? Oops, I'm here. Okay. Oh. How is, how is Gwen and, 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 um, the baby? Um, uh, they're, they're fine. Gwen's at the hospital sleeping. Okay, well, I'm glad that, that they're all right. Anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you. I was hoping we could talk about what happened with us last night. I mean, when we, we woke up in bed together. Yeah. I need to tell Gwen what happened, and I need to tell her that you're here in Los Angeles. Are you going to tell her that, that we kissed? Yeah. I'm going to tell her everything. Are you sure you want to do that, Ethan? Are you sure you want to tell Gwen that, that we were in bed together and, and that we were kissing? Yes. Yeah. I don't want to lie to my wife. I don't want to keep any secrets from her. I know that you want to be honest. But if you tell Gwen that, that I am here in Los Angeles and that, that we were in bed together, it's going to upset her. Look, it, it was an accident. You know, I, I didn't know you were in the bed, and you didn't know I was in there either. I know. I know that, Ethan. You know that. But I, if you really think that Gwen is going to believe this, I, I don't think so. I can't lie to her. 
I know that you don't want to. But you gotta think about how Gwen is gonna react to this, okay? She always feels threatened when I'm around, and you know that this will upset her. I mean, it, it's up to you, of, of course. I just, I don't think this would be good for Gwen or the baby. I know that. I, I know it could upset her. Ethan, you do what you want, but this will upset her. It will upset her a lot. And I hate to think what it would do to Gwen and the baby. Please, God, please don't let them do this to my baby. If I am to die, then I will, but please let my baby live. Louise, I can't wait to have babies with you. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have the most beautiful babies in the whole world. Yeah, well, how can we mess with you as their mother? Mm. You for the father. <laughs> <laughs> well, the most important thing is that they're going to be the most loved babies in the whole wide world. Yes, they will. So how many do you think we should have? Well, as many as you want. Oh, well, I always dreamed of having a really big family. <laughs> how about a dozen? A dozen? Mm. Well, all right. <laughs> I don't see why not. I mean, hey, the more the merrier, right? I need you. Hey. Louise, hi. I, I wasn't expecting you. Um, I thought you were on duty. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on a break. Oh. I just came by, you know, to see uh, if you're okay. Um, yeah, I'm fine. Although, you know, it's getting harder and harder to sleep at night. <laughs> kind of uncomfortable. I wouldn't be able to sleep either if I was you. Right. Well, come on, let's, let's have a seat, huh? Okay. You, uh, you thirsty? Do you want a snack or something? Oh, okay. no, no. You're so sweet. That's okay. Speaking of sweet, we're out of sugar. <laughs> Precious just loves the baby. Isn't she so cute? Sure is. God, you, you, you seem to have gotten a little bigger. Yeah. Um, I think the baby's just growing a little bit every day. Wow. <laughs> I can't wait to see the little tyke. Oh. <laughs> hey, when are we going to have an ultrasound? <clears throat> what? Ultrasound. You know, so you can see the baby and maybe tell whether it's a boy or a girl. I already had one. Yeah, and I told the doctor that I just, I didn't want to know the sex yet. You did? Hmm? Well, I would have loved to have seen pictures of the baby. Oh, gosh. Louise, I'm sorry. You're just so busy and preoccupied. I didn't want to bother you. No, no, no. I know. I mean, you're right. I, I haven't been here for you or the baby, and I'm sorry. But I am going to be here for you from now on, okay? I want you to know that you can count on me. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I just never thought anything like this would ever happen. That I would have a daughter that's an unwed mother, a college dropout. Grace, right now, the important thing is for the baby to be all right. We can sort out everything else later. Okay. I know that. It's just... It's so important for these kids to get a college education. I mean, Charity and Miguel have a future to build together. And just because Kay got pregnant, it doesn't mean that Charity and Miguel should give up their dreams. What about 
my dreams. I hope this convinces you to stay with me and let me help you use your baby to destroy Charity and Miguel for once and for all. I don't want to use my daughter like that. I don't want to work for the dark side anymore. She could die, Tabitha. And I still think that it's all my fault because of the bad things that I have done. I have to try to be a better person for my little girl. I don't want you to worry, Charity. All right, somehow this is going to work out with Kay. And we're still going to have the future that we planned. I hope so. What's wrong? I mean, don't, don't you think that we can work this out? I want to believe so, Miguel, with all my heart. I really do. Okay, well then don't worry. All right, nothing's going to tear us apart. I love you. I love you. I'm going to go in and see my little girl. Bye. I would give up Miguel if you wouldn't take his little girl, so you cannot take that baby. You can't. He's gonna do it. Miguel's baby's gonna die. You are my passion all night. Well, I guess I'd better get going. I don't want to be late for my big meeting. So where's this big meeting at, anyway? Uh, the Polo Lounge. All right. Whoa, the Polo Lounge? At the Beverly Hills Hotel? You're kidding me. No, that's where I'm going. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I just, I just can't believe this. So I've always dreamed about going to the Polo Lounge ever since I first saw it on TV. I mean, it's where all the movie stars and big-time producers go. I can't believe it myself. I mean, a kid from the hood going to one of the hottest restaurants in L.A. Very impressive. I'm still pinching myself. Hey, come on, you made it happen. Your talent and all of your hard work. You only deserve the best. Thank you for believing in me. Having the woman I love by my side has made all the difference. And one of these days, I am going to take you for breakfast at the Polo Lounge. It's a date. You won't have her long, Chad. Not for long. Look, I know better than anyone that the damage that lies can do to a relationship. I lost you because of the lies I told. Even though the lies I told were to protect you, to keep you from being hurt. I know. And I know how important honesty in a relationship is to you, but Ethan, the, the stakes are much higher here. You gotta think about what the truth will do to Gwen and the baby. If, if you want to tell Gwen the truth, I think you should wait till after the baby is born. I just hope we can convince Miguel to stay in school. Me too. I want my son to finish college. And we will work as a family to help Kay and the baby. We may be poor, but we honor our obligations. I know you do. And um, I think the only solution is that Kay come and live at home, and I can help her with the baby. And I can help, too. And then in the spring, Kay can go back to college. And what's important right now is that Miguel stay in college. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want anything to hurt his future with charity. The two of them have suffered enough. Hear that? My mother cares more about Miguel being with Charity than she does about me. Yes. Well, that's what I've been telling you. But Tabitha, I want to be good. Oh. And where does that get you? 
Your baby almost died, and she's still in a fragile condition. I'm an evil witch, and my baby's perfectly healthy. Think it through, Kay, think it through. Stop! I will not let you take Miguel's baby. I sacrificed Miguel to save her life, so you can't take her now. I haven't come for Miguel's baby. I'm here for someone else. You're right, Charity. You did save their baby. She will live. But you have lost your relationship with Miguel. You will never be with him now. He doesn't know it yet. He thinks everything's fine. He thinks he thinks that our love is forever. Well, it's not. Code blue, NICU, code blue. I must go. The nurse asked me to leave. There was an emergency with another baby. Charity, you okay? Just hold me, my gal. Just hold me. Well, I can't wait for you to get pregnant. Mm, neither can I. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> and I want all 12 of our kids to look just like you. <sighs> Did I say something wrong? No. I was just. Just thinking about how I'll do. Being pregnant, I mean. Well, you're gonna do great. I mean, why would you think otherwise? It's just that, you know, my father always told me that after my mother had me, her health declined, you know, seriously declined. She had a really difficult delivery with me, and she just got weaker and weaker for years, until she died. You know, what if I have the same problem? What if I die? Who's going to take care of you, of our baby? You know, it just makes me sick to think of our, of our child not having a mother when, when they're growing up. You know, I know how sad and lonely I was. Sure. Sure, that's not going to happen, okay? Uh, we'll, we'll talk to your doctor. We'll tell him about your mother. We'll monitor your condition closely, right? Nothing's going to happen to you. I'm going to take care of you, all right? I promise. you're here. I need you so badly. I need you to save me. I'm so scared for a baby. Um, thank you for your support, Louise. Uh, I mean, it means so much to me. It's really frightening to be pregnant with the first child and all alone. I know. And I also know that I haven't been much help to you in this pregnancy, but I want you now, all right? Hey, let me, let me feel him, okay. Well, um, the baby's pretty quiet right now. Maybe we can talk him into it. <laughs> Come on. Come on, baby. How about some action? <laughs> on, let your daddy know you're here. About a little kick. Give your old man a thrill. Oh, you silly. <laughs> the jig's up. There's no way Beth is gonna make that sack of sugar kick. Louise is gonna catch on. You see, he's gonna figure out that the pregnancy is a fake and then it's all a big one psycho lie. So what are we doing today? Oh, <laughs> I'm open for anything, I guess. But I do want to get Teresa out of this apartment and away from Ethan. You're really worried that she thinks fate's what brought Ethan out here, huh? Yeah, I am. I'm worried. 
Teresa has caused herself so much heartache because of this silly belief she has in fate. And you're not buying it. No, I mean, <laughs> she really believes that she and Ethan have a future together, like Cinderella and Prince Charming. It's just not going to happen for her. You sound so sure. Ethan and Gwen are married. They're expecting a child. They love each other. I mean, how can it happen? I don't know. Um, I think that uh, sometimes, um, you know, two people are together, they, they think that they're right for each other and that they're supposed to spend the rest of their lives together. And then maybe, um, you know, one of them meets the person they're really supposed to be with, the right person. And, uh, well, it just kind of changes everything. Have you ever seen that happen? I mean, it happens. I mean, who knows, maybe, maybe that's what's happening between Gwen and Ethan. Maybe Teresa's the right woman for Ethan. Maybe she's the one. I see what you're saying, Teresa. It's not in me to lie. It's a lie of omission, Ethan, and, and that's different, isn't it? Uh. Okay. Look, um, I came to L.A. to spend time with Whitney and to give you and Gwen some time alone while you waited for your baby. I, I had no I idea that, that you were going to be here. I know that. It's not as if we followed each other. No, no, we didn't. It was just... Coincidence, but look at if it'll make your life easier, you know, I will take the next flight home. I will go back to Harmony if that's what you want. It's your decision, Ethan. If you tell me to go, I will go. Okay. But you're supposed to be resting. She wanted to go and see the baby. Well. I'm glad you're here. Uh, we wanted to talk to you. Well, uh, I, I'm going to the NICU to see Miguel and, and check on the baby. Uh. What, Mom? Um, well, Pilar and I came up with, a, you know, something that I think will work out for everybody. You know, Miguel can stay in school. You can go back in the spring. If you come back home. You want me to come back home? Yeah. Yeah, back to your, your room, your family. I want you to come home. No. I'm not going somewhere where I'm not wanted. And I know I'm not wanted. Your house isn't my home, not anymore. Kay, that's not true. You're wanted. The only reason you want me to come home is because you think it'll help McGow in charity. <laughs> you don't care about me or my baby. So the answer is no. I am not coming home. Not now. Not ever. Charity? What is it? Why are you so upset? It's just that everything's caught up with me, I think. That's all. Yeah, I, I guess it has. I, kn I know how hard this has been on you, all right? And I want you to know that I really appreciate all your support. You know, I have to be here for Kay, and uh, I know that you know that, but I want you to know that my heart's always with you. Always. I love you. I love you. I should, uh, I should probably get back in there with the baby. Did you? Yes. 
I need it here more than other places. But I need it somewhere else right now. Oh, you're going to take somebody that I know? There are others in harmony, in danger of dying. in the hospital. I don't have a doctor with me. What if I die? Who will take care of my baby? Oh, my God. My poor baby. Oh, no. My poor little baby. Come on, baby. Come on, let's have a kick here. You know, I think um, the baby must be sleeping. He or she is usually a lot more active at night, but I promise, first time I feel a kick, I'm gonna let you know. Beth, I don't feel any movement at all. I remember when Mama was pregnant with her last baby, it felt totally different. I'm sure, sure that um, every woman is different, Luis. No, oh, Beth, I don't like this. This is worrying me. I think we should see your doctor. Why didn't Beth use a water bottle instead of the sack of sugar? At least it would have moved a little. Uh, um, no, Luis, I'm fine. I'm sure the baby is fine. All, all right, look, it's just that after everything that happened with Kay and Miguel, I don't want to take any chances with our baby, all right? I want to go see your, your doctor. Oh, you are, you are done for now, baby. <laughs> 